Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial on improving your YouTube channel. In particular, today we're going to look at descriptions and tags and a tool called vidIQ. Now, vidIQ is a Chrome extension. I'm going to give you a link to the actual application site in the description below, but you can also find it in the Chrome extension area. And when you install it, it gives you a lot of detail about not only your channel, but other people's too. And you can harness this information to improve your tags in your videos. So I have a video here that was recently released. I'm going to show you what I see when I have vidIQ installed. Now I'm a pro member, so it costs me about $10 a month to get hold of the pro version of vidIQ. So I'll always have a good title for my videos and I'll make sure that the beginning part of the title has the sort of working text because if the rest of it gets cut off, at least people will be able to see that this is an illustrated tutorial and it's about evenly spacing objects. I'll repeat the title here in my description and then I'll include a paragraph or so of description what the video is about. Then I've got some social media links and then down the bottom here are some associated videos. So if you like this video, you might also like these videos. I include something like 10 to 20 associated videos in all my video descriptions. And that works really well for me because it tends to make sure that these videos are not only brought up in the side panel for my video. So let's here see on the page for my video, you'll see that a lot of these videos along the side here are my videos. So the more I can get in this area, the better it's going to be for me. But the other thing that if you like this video, you might like these similar videos tends to do is it also makes my videos appear in search results. So you'll find that quite often in search results, my videos will start to appear when the regular search results don't turn up anything that matches, then my videos are likely to be in that group. So I'm not actually seeing any here right now, but it does tend to make them appear in search results. So even though you've got things like pattern brushes, this is one of mine, it's appearing in a question about evenly spacing objects along a path. So I just find that it gives me a couple of hits at people finding my content. So I always add a whole string of sort of associated videos to the description for my videos and basically I just keep them in a file. So I have a file of all the video groups and so when a video is released it gets assigned to one of these groups and I just pick up the whole content here and copy and paste it into my YouTube description. Down the bottom here are the tags. Now this one's a little light on tags. You get 500 characters and I suggest you use pretty much every single one of them. Now, in addition to the regular tags, I also have this sort of funky character tag. This is a character tag that is associated with this group of videos. And I put this sort of tag that I make up myself into my tag line. And each one of these videos here will have that same tag. And again, it's helping YouTube see what it might be able to populate this panel with in terms of videos that are associated with this one. So it just helps me out. And so you'll get things in here that are not really to do with evenly spacing things along a path, but which are my videos. So the more videos I can get into this sidebar here, the better it will be for me. So this sort of funky tag, I just make them up for every group of objects. And again, they're in this file too. So you'll see the funky tag for each of these groups. So I'll just copy and paste that into the tag description when I grab these other videos for the description. Now vidIQ helps me by giving me a list of things that I should be doing with my video. And so it's just a reminder of things that you should be doing. Now, the other thing that vidIQ does is that if you go to YouTube itself, and I've gone to YouTube and I've just typed in evenly space objects along a path, and I'm just going to search for that. So we're going to have a look at the first page of search results. 
And here you can see this is actually my video, but here are my tags. Now you can't generally see people's tags, but what vidIQ does is it recovers those tags for you. So you can see not only your tags, but also anybody else's. So when you're starting out prepping a video to release on YouTube, what you should do is come in and type in the general description of the video you're about to release and have a look and see what the tags are. So I'm getting top search keywords here. So they're obviously keywords that I could use but I'm also getting a look at what other people are using and so I'm able to have a look at their tags and see if I can learn from their tags and perhaps use some of their tags in my tag description. So it's a way of accessing other people's intelligence if you like. It's also really interesting to see who's tagging and who isn't. You know, Some people really approach the job of tagging very very smartly and some people don't do it much if at all. But my experience has been over the couple of years that I've been tagging consistently is it's really helping my videos become much more discoverable on YouTube and not only is the actual video itself being discoverable but some of the associated videos are also appearing in search results. So it's just making sure that my stuff is under people's noses. The benefit of vidIQ is of course that we can see other people's tags and you can also copy them. Well these are my tags anyway but you can click here and copy the tags to the clipboard. So I'll often grab these top search keywords, I'll grab other tags, look at them and determine what of those tags I'm going to use as well as some tags that I just repeatedly use myself anyway and which I'm going to pump in to the tag area for a video and you should try and use as much as you can of your 500 characters of tags. So that's how I use vidIQ to discover tags and to make sure that I'm prepping my videos as much as possible so that they're going to be at the top of YouTube search results for whatever topic it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned something from it about YouTube and tagging and descriptions that you didn't know previously. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial and I look forward to seeing you in an upcoming video tutorial soon.